with you, baby, I just wanna stay with you, yeah Like maybe on the way with you, girl, I just wanna stay with you, yeah In times like these where there's a lot of tension on all levels, male and female, racial, economic, uh, no middle class, that to, to, to be uh, of means doesn't mean that you are a good person. So there's a lot of people, especially in this area, that you know are, are, have done very well for themselves, and they, you know, have the high walls, and they don't look out for anybody but themselves. But you know, uh, eventually uh, they come and get you too. So if you want to make right with God and you want to be on the right side of the Holy Spirit, you you help people out because uh, you might not be sick right now, but one day it'll be you. That was a really good answer. Do I even have to ask you anything else? Um, so tell me, what specifically does this foundation mean to you, his foundation? Well, I mean, to know that there's kids that are hungry, to know that there's kids that are cold, to know those kids that are embarrassed because of the way, what they have, you know, that everything is about, listen, I, I, I'm not sure if I would have survived if I was 13 and shoes and everybody was trying to outdo each other. It's just a horrible place to be. And kids, you know, I even though they say there's no bullying, I think that I think there is. Um, and with the social media and the computers and all that, it's tough to be a teenager. So any anything that you can do to make them feel better, to make them feel special, to make them feel wanted, to not make them feel like they're intruding is a good thing. What would you say is one piece of advice that you have for those kids, you know, who it might be even tougher because of social media influence and just really trying to make it in this world? What would be your one piece of advice? I would tell those kids out there that everybody has a gut instinct. If you've ever done something and got in trouble, you say, man, I knew I shouldn't have done that. And that is intuition and everybody has it. And some people ask other people what they should do with their lives. What do you think I should do? You think I should do this? You think I should work there? Your intuition will tell you. And you never want to either hit or miss on you asking somebody else what you should do about your life. Be in, con be in control of your life and, you know, pray on it or in the morning before anything uh, happens, you know, lay down and, and whatever comes to you is the right answer. That was advice for me, too. That's good. That's good. That's good. I, I, Intuition I, is huge. And really, the, the biggest one, and maybe one of the hardest ones, is to not be concerned with what everybody else is doing. Right. So, or what anybody else is saying to you. You know, Carlos Santana, an incredible musician, you know, I was going, we were going through a time where, uh, I think there was a lot of, you know, negative stuff about me, you become successful. And he said, hey man, don't let anybody poke holes in your vision. Let's say you had two white lights looking straight ahead, and every time you allow somebody's thought to go into your mind, you take a pin and you poke a hole, you let their light into your light. Don't ever let nobody's light into your light. Let them poke the holes in there. Let them poke a hole in your vision. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. <laughs>